the Dalai Lama gave a big uh, interview. Uh, so, and uh, here's the headline from the BBC. Da the Dalai Lama on Trump, women, and going home. So, I, I, I have, you know how they choose the Dalai Lama, right? So, the Dalai Lama is supposed to be a reincarnation of a soul that never dies. It's always, right? I, and, I, I'm, I'm not sure, actually. So, but. yeah, so... So look up how they choose the Dalai Lama. So then the after the Dalai Lama dies, they go and they find an, the baby that's been re reborn, and they take it, right? And then they take it and raise it as the Dalai Lama. Um, I don't trust that selection system. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should go to paper ballots. Yeah, they got to do paper ballots. They got to do paper ballots. <laughs> <laughs> Until they get something better. <laughs> what do you want to say? If the previous Dalai Lama was cremated, they watched the direction of the smoke to indicate the direction of the rebirth of the new Dalai Lama, too. Oh, well, it sounds... Well, at least it's scientific. <laughs> well, and then there's a dude in Vegas counting stuff. Yeah. He helps. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so I don't understand how you could be... You know, Buddha, Buddhism. From what I've I've read, a, I read a, at least one book on it, maybe probably two. I've read the Tao. Uh, I've read, uh, and I anyway. I don't know how you could be enlightened and then think that that's the way you're supposed to choose your leader. <laughs> it just seems crazy. Uh, so, the Dalai Lama, the one that's alive right now. I I've never he's. I, I hear him talk often. You see videotapes of him talking. I've never went, wow, that was really something, what he's just said. I'm always like, that sounds, that's probably like one of those smart things that sounds dumb to a dumb guy like me. Because <laughs> nothing he's ever said was sounded super smart. He always like, oh, I don't, I don't really know how watches work. I don't know. You know, he's like one of those guys. Like, I don't know. The Dalai Lama on watches. Yeah. Like, that was the thing before Trump women and going home. That, that's right. So here he is on here he is on Trump. Let's listen. His emotion also a little bit <laughs> see, too complicated. What do you mean by that? What do you think of him in office? One day he says something, another day he says something. But I think lack of moral principle. Oh, when he becomes Lack of moral principle. That's a that's a prerequisite to become president. <laughs> right? I mean yeah. again one day you say something, one day you say something. That is also a prerequisite. <laughs> that's I'm also pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. So here he is on Brexit. <laughs> I'm one admirer of spirit of European Union. I'm outsider, but I feel Better remain in the Union. The campaign to leave the European Union used one of your quotes. So he's not a Brexiter. He's no Brexit. He's for staying in the Union, even though he said he's an outsider. Okay? In their posters, it said the goal should be that migrants return and help rebuild their countries. You have to be practical. It's impossible for everyone to come. The European country should take these refugees and give them education and training. And then aiming is return to their own land. So that's pretty controversial. What he just said, I think, is pretty controversial. So what he's saying is, yes, right now these refugees are in, in crisis. They're in, why are they in crisis? Well, because the United States and the West just bombed the shit out of their country. That's why. Yemen, Libya, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria. So what he's saying is that, yes, European countries should accept these refugees because we're the ones bombing the crap out of them. We should educate them, get them, and then send them back to their own countries. That's what he's saying. That's the ultimate goal. That's what the Dalai Lama just said. Here we go. And if these people want to stay in Europe, shouldn't they be allowed to? Limited number, okay. But the whole Europe eventually become Muslim country, impossible. Or African country, also impossible. That's nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't know why he's laughing like that. Uh, I, could, I could help him on his punchlines. But uh, 
<laughs> but so what he so what he's saying sounds like stuff right wingers would say, right? That yeah, some of them can stay, but you can't have Europe turning into an African or a Muslim country. That's what he's saying. So you got to these people. The goal is to get these people to go back to their country. That's what he's saying. And then laughing awkwardly after he says it. Uh, With that, is there? I mean, you're a refugee they yourself. They themselves, I think, are better to their own land. So better uh, keep Europe for Europeans. Sounds pretty. What? What do you? Let's. What do you? What can? What do you guys? What do? You, what does my panel make of that? That sounds pretty right wingy, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like they're just having him step out of his lane for this entire thing. Yes. Like they're asking him these questions where it's like this isn't his field of work really. I agree. So he's just sort of saying these things. Like like, like it does come off as right wingy. I don't know if that was his intention. I'm sure that wasn't his it intention. It likely wasn't, but yeah. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what he knows about geopolitics. I mean, everyone gets their own voice to have a voice, but uh, it's well, uh, you know, ultimately, you could say that about any country, and it sounds weird, right? What, yeah, um, I think you know, uh, the Chinese should stay in their country, I think the uh, Mexicans should stay in their country. Isn't that ultimately what he's saying? It sounds like it, so it, it sounds just has, like it that's sounds, what he's saying. it sounds, doesn't sound, um. I guess in a way that I you would think would be Evolved? the world would making progress <laughs> right. exactly that you know doesn't each country from the idea of diversity doesn't that enrich your country right I mean look at the United States the United States has no culture we are a smash together culture of all these other cultures um, I think we're still trying to figure out what generation your family is. Did your grandfather come here? I was pretty sure my grandpa and grandpa. I have to figure that out. Uh, uh, anyway, here, here's what he says on Tibet. You ready? Hear what he says on Tibet? Do we listen? Yes. Or, but that, I'm just going to say that's going to be controversial. And I can't believe more people aren't talking about it. Well, this. somebody, uh, Jared G says, well, the Tibetan monks have been massacred numerous times by outside cultures. So it kind of makes sense for him to have these views. That's interesting. That's interesting. Thank you, Jared G. Okay. So uh, here's what he says. Here's what he has to say on Tibet. Ready? Have you given up the hope of no. returning? No, no, no. Tibetan people have very much sort of trusted me. So they are very, very eager. Many old people with tears, they ask me, please come to Tibet. So how would that happen, Your Holiness? No, China is changing. So that's that. That's him on. Uh, so here's what he has to say about China. So you have had contact in the yes, last few years with Chinese officials. Entirely. Who do? Uh, privately, a uh, number of Chinese retired officials and some scholars, you see, who have some connection with the Chinese government. Has President Xi ever asked you for a meeting? Not yet. Do you think China's growing influence is having an impact on your own influence and the cause of Tibet? I don't care. No. I think the Chinese seems themselves is changing their attitude. So I don't, I don't. That's tough for me to really decipher what he's trying to say there. Can you make that out? Well, he's okay. saying the Chinese it's, people are changing their attitude towards the Tibet, Tibetan. That people. was I, my impression. Um, Joe Doe said, uh, Dalai Lama is a spiritual leader, not a Euro politician. Right. Tibetans wanted to stay in their country. He is a non-interventionist pacifist. And also Francisco Raposo said the Dalai Lama is just saying that people's homes should be rebuilt and the Europeans and Americans should help with that. I think that's a those are positive spins. So that's, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. No, that's, again, if that's what, he, uh, if that's what he's saying, then that's, that's great, but it sounds like he's saying he's his words are certainly going. To, are they're already being used by right wing uh, movements, politicians, interests? Um, so if that's what he meant, like, uh, but he didn't say that. 
He didn't say, well, what the Europeans and the, the people who bombed the shit out of their countries should go rebuild their countries for them so they could go back to their countries. If that's what you know, like, we had a Marshall Plan for Europe, remember, after we after World War Two, we did the Marshall Plan and uh, that was to rebuild Europe. If that's what he meant, I wish he would have said it. That's what I mean. Like when this guy speaks, uh, the Dalai Lama, the one, the current Dalai Lama, it's it, it never sounds as wise as you want it to sound. Yes, that's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it might be, and it just sounds doesn't sound wise to a dumb guy. That's also a possibility. Like Jimmy that. Terrible came in and he says he's not saying that people need to. Never leave their country of birth. I don't think we said that. No, he didn't say He's that. He's speaking about culture. Leave Europe for Europeans, you idiots. Jimmy, terrible. We are terrible. <laughs> why why is I want to leave it for about your point of view? What about the Euro? So he's thinking about the people who are European. What about the people who are European? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. I just, come on. I just thought of that joke. <laughs> that was really good on the spot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... That reminds me of an old Benny Hill joke. Uh, anyway, here's what he says about... It's just a stupid joke. Uh, here's what he says about a female successor. Now, this is very controversial. Yeah, this is the thing that got him into a lot of trouble. Oh, right? so you heard about this? Yeah, I've heard about this. But, but this is the only part I had heard about prior. All right, so that like other stuff this you missed, thing. right? Yeah, yeah, I hadn't Which heard I thought was, it, was equally... It, so, so, again, you, what you have to remember is that the Dalai Lama himself doesn't... Con now, again, I could be wrong about this, but my understanding is, and correct me if I am wrong, please, that um, there is no death, and so that he is just a constant cycle of rebirth, right? So that his soul is eternal, his physical being changes, but he remains the same. And so they're asking him, well, the next time he manifests himself, what should he look like? But that's not the question people hear. So here's, here's what he says. You once said that you would um, be open to uh, a female successor. That also possible. You also told um, one of my colleagues that that female must be attractive Otherwise, it's not much use. Okay, yes. Can you see that, why that, that comment that, upset that, a lot of women? There's one time. If female dilemma comes, and it should be more attractive, if female dilemma, oh, oh God, <laughs> the, dead people, I think, prefer not see uh, a dead face. There's a lot of... Now, if that doesn't sound like uh, Trump, right? <laughs> people should see that face. But what, so that sounds horrible, right? Right, Steph? That sounds horrible? <laughs> well, it's kind of shocking. Sounds horrible, right? I mean, because, yeah, it, it's it's like, you know what? She needs to have a pretty face before, you know, I even give two shits about her spirituality. So let's see if there's anything left to say, and then we'll go. Women would say that's objectifying women, and it's about who you are inside, isn't it? Yes, I think both. Ha, 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 ha. So Ron, See, he had a chance to deflect all that right there. Right he could there. just be like, no, 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 I was making fun of my looks. Yes. I was saying, hey, I might come back, I might be a lady, but hopefully I got the face for radio, am I right? Like, he could have <laughs> he could have poked fun at, you know what I mean? Like, he could have. Yes. But, but he still, Funny. he doubled down. He's like, oh, yeah, both. It's both. No, both. But women have a higher standard for women. They have to be pretty and on the inside and outside. Me, just inside. So here, what they say at the BBC, his message seemed at odds. For a man who preaches a message of tolerance and inner confidence. <laughs> but the Dalai Lama told me that in Buddhist inner, in, literature, both inner and outer beauty matter. I don't, so I'm not that familiar with Buddhist literature. Um, he also said that equality was important and was keen to stress that he supported women's rights and equal pay in the workplace. The Dalai Lama's Just message... as long as they're pretty. Just as long as they're good looking. <laughs> right, come on, you don't want... Who wants to fucking talk to I, that? You know, when, I hand you my pay, when I hand you your paycheck, I want, you I want to see something nice here, ladies. Yeah, wait. Yes, is this what Senator Richard Martin says? You know the problem is too many ladies just been frowning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies, why don't you uh, smile a little more? 
So uh, here's here, here's some headlines. Dalai Lama talks Trump, says European migrants should return to their own land. So you see how this is immediately being... So it would have been... So if he was actually wise, he would have known that this is how his words would be twisted or taken. And that he would have said, what I mean is that the, the people who blew up their countries should rebuild them. He didn't say that. He should have. That's what he should have said. That would have been powerful. But what he did say sounded dumb. I, I don't want to go say sounding dumb, but it sounded com- uh, incomplete. It, it wasn't carefully selected. It was not a good answer. <laughs> so that's what I mean. It's like, so you're not even... So again, his whole thing is he's wise. So you're supposed to be, even if you're supposed to be wise enough to know that your words are A, going to be misconstrued, B, you don't know enough to talk about it, and C, you're not even going to say what you mean. Like, if he means that we should, again, I'll say it again, that the countries who bomb the shit out of these places should go rebuild them, he didn't say that. That would have been great had he said that. So, and by the way, if he's wise, he would know that that's how he's supposed to say it. So I don't think that this selection process reveals itself in a wise leader. Like, I don't know how wise this Dalai Lama is. I don't know. He doesn't seem wise. Right? Now, um, what do you, just like the Pope isn't necessarily wiser than anyone else because he was elected Pope. Uh, well, and I think when it comes to religious leaders, I'm glad you brought up the Pope because it's one of those things where it's like, man, people line up to like pat them on the back when they say something nice. Yes. Meanwhile, it's like the Pope, especially, he has said some really nice things. Yes. Actions, not, not, I haven't not seen enough. much, I haven't, especially when it comes to the church itself. I haven't seen anything really. Well, he, but l- he least, says least, nice things. Well, at least he got rid of the patriarchy and the sexism, and his women are, <laughs> oh, he didn't do that. <laughs> Completely icing women out of the decision process. He's a completely over mis- uh, misogynistic organization. Would you call the Catholic Church misogynistic? I would. Uh, yeah, I think that's <laughs> yes. fair. Well, we lo- no, no, we don't hate women. We just don't want any of their opinions bothering us. You just can't be a leader. Yeah, you're inferior. Women are inferior. That's the whole message of the Catholic Church. Women are inferior. Yeah, man, I got 12 years in. I know. I know. I, I, got, I got that shit drilled in. <laughs> uh, Hello, somebody just mentioned in the chat, I'm sorry I lost your name, but it said it sounded like the Dalai Lama was being a smartass, <laughs> like with his answers. Yeah, well, that's really, that's my role. That's not his role. <laughs> Nobody goes, oh, you know, I like this Dalai Lama. He's such a fucking cut up. <laughs> oh, that guy, you never know if he's jagging you off or not, right? If he needs some punch up, he knows how to reach uh, us. Remember what he said about uh, black lives, all lives matter? Remember when he kept saying that? <laughs> hey, he was being such a, such a, uh, uh. I mean, to say that about women's appearance, you would think the next time that I see the Dalai Lama out in public that he'd be wearing a toupee. He's- <laughs> That's just my or at thought. least some adult braces. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Jeez. And then he laughs at the most awkward time. I mean, I, I I get that they're laughing always. Well, you know, I think he was taking a note from Bill Maher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's another headline from Fox News. Dalai Lama says female successor needs to be more attractive and slams Trump. So, again, if the Dalai Lama was that wise, he would know that the Dalai Lama wants a woman to succeed him only if she's hot. (laughs) Here's another one. The Dalai Lama just said some more controversial things about women and migrants. The Dalai Lama says Europe belongs to the Europeans and suggests refugees return to native countries. So, again, not he's not the wisest of Dalai Lamas. This is not a, one of the wiser ones. This is like the Jeb Bush of Dalai Lamas. <laughs> and at the end, he asked everybody to clap, actually, please, at the please end please of that clap. interview. Uh, Trad, so this is uh, somebody at, uh, um, this is Nira El Shah says, uh, tragic that the Dalai Lama's love of boobs 
or whatever has cast a shadow over an otherwise brilliant system of government of picking a random baby and raising it to be a god king. <laughs> that's a funny way to say That's what I've been saying. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best system. You chick, pick a child baby and raise it to be a god king. That's what they do. Uh, this person is a blue checker. Cotton candy, can daddy, Sloan. Wow, that's a lot of tough to decipher in that name. Uh, today, the Dalai effing Lama said the only way he'd want a woman's successor is if she's objectively bangable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear. So I don't want to hear. <laughs> Not all men ever. Make it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's hilarious. So again, a lot of people are gonna. Here's another one. Gonna stay ugly just to spite the Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> Jess Dweck oh, hitting nice it hard. Jess. Uh, here's someone else. Here's someone named Javi says people canceling the Dalai Lama for wanting a female successor to be more attractive might not realize that he's talking about himself, his own reincarnation. If anything, the comment was self-deprecating humor that of all things, Twitter should be well aware of. Yeah, I get it. See, I I said he had a chance to make that clear, and he didn't. He didn't. I feel like he didn't do that. And what he sh- it would have been weird if he said, "When I come back, you know, I want to come back as a sexy piece of ass." <laughs> right? That'd have been funny. <laughs> so again, it shows that he doesn't understand the predicament that women are in in the world. I guess it kind of shows an aloof out of touchness. That women have that he doesn't understand that women have to face. Con- it's like, yeah, you might be making fun of himself, but you understand that that doesn't help the problem of other women being objectified and not being seen for who they are on the inside. Like he should say, of course, that's a big problem. But me, I'm making fun of myself. He didn't. He didn't. Again, I don't think he's the wisest of Dalai Lamas. There's going to be some shitty Dalai Lamas. And he's I think he's one of them. <laughs> Right? There's, there's, everyone agrees there's better popes than other popes. Everyone agrees that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the one, the one that executed all cats, that was a particular shitty one. Yeah, that was not that a good one. That one was a pretty bad one. You know, gave everyone the plague. Uh, Kabir Singh says, I am the most idolized and successful misogynist ever. Dalai Lama, hold my shawl, son. <laughs> I, oh, if I knew who Kabir Singh was, that would make that joke funnier to me. Does anyone know who Kabir Singh? No, no one knows, right? Somebody's on it. I'm going to guess Kabir Singh just uh, is is probably a, a big misogynist. Oh, it's a movie. Who's a oh misogynist? Yeah, heartbroken because of his girlfriend turns into a misogynist. Oh, okay, there you go. Well, there you go. Now it all makes sense. All right, so there's the Dalai Lama mixing it up. Dalai Lama being really... Uh, I wonder if he's going to do another interview anytime soon. I, uh, he's starting a podcast, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's called those damn... Thoughts. It's, 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 it's called Me and the Broads. <laughs> 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 the Dalai Lama. That'd be funny. Me and the Broads right here. If it's, in a... it's just audio, but all the guests are pretty. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mr... Uh, Mr. Lama, I'm uh, I'm coming over to do your podcast. Anything I should know? Wear something short. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just added St. Louis and Honolulu to our live tour schedule. Go to jimmydoorcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows. We might be coming to your town. Go check right now at jimmydoorcomedy.com. And if you like the show and want to support it, become a premium member. You can become a patron or through PayPal or go right to jimmydoorcomedy.com and become a premium member. That's the best way. We'll see you at a live show.